conversations with spiritual spiritual healers and um rick and i are healers my husband's connected to creator and i receive downloads uh, of information in order to continue healing you and this is felt he is uh, an aspect of archangel or reincarnation of archangel raphael plus other things i will uh, let him introduce himself and give you his information which is a lot more than what uh, rick and i have as far as capabilities he's uh he's pretty amazing um so i'm going to let him speak about himself go ahead phil okay thank you for that uh i've been healing for 51 years i started healing when i was four year old uh I'm, i also do worry work in astro uh, I'm an aspect of, uh, well, one of my aspects is uh, Ascending Master, uh, I can't remember. <laughs> Ascending Master Mer Hermes, that's the one. Uh, I'm also, I've had a life as Merlin. Uh, I've also had really dark, dark lives because we, we all have a, a balance. I was like uh, the king of uh, the Nine Elves which you probably didn't know yet. Uh, I've also got an aspect that's a crystal source being. So most of my knowledge uh, either comes from the Atlantis aspect or it comes from the Raphael, which I, I can direct uh, channel, if you know what I mean. Uh, I can also, or you can actually come into it. Uh, I can also channel, uh, which you might not know, uh, Michael and Jesus, but I, I don't tend to do that much because I'd rather just be I'd rather channel the aspects that I've been. Uh, I bring in new healing abilities, new techniques, mainly from Atlantis, that's like the Atlantis era. And uh, a lot of people, they only heal what's on the, in the book. But I tend to like to say there's no rules. Let's go outside the, the, the boundaries and see what we can heal, like bones and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully that's answered what you asked. So any questions here, uh, put them on the list so we can go through them. Last time it was about 50, I think it was. Uh, me and Deb will reply to them. Uh, Deb can do the scanning at, um, and the healing, and I can do the healing. And then if anyone wants to add each at the end of that question after we finish, by all means, uh, I'm not sure how that will work, but uh, you know, information is great knowledge yeah. is wonderful yes okay. yes um we had a rick and i had a session with debbie um nicholson yesterday and she has um a sneaky one there's a there's a uh, a non-beloved benevolent <laughs> being that um hides from us and Deb, debbie can um speak about this better than I can. Um, she can feel the being and of course it, it left when we went to scan her. So um, you can you can describe it better than I can Deb but what you're feeling. But you have to unmute yourself honey. Um, I could feel it from up here like outward you know all the way up to my neck. It just, it, when I try to meditate, it, it causes restraint, I guess. And then I still have that thing wrapped around me underneath where my, below my bra, I could feel it after the session yesterday. It feels better today though. It, it came back. It comes back after. When we scan her, it's not there. We can't see this being. Is it demonic then? I presume it is. Is it like a demonic being? Yes. Right. There's two sorts of demonic beings. One, we create ourselves from our, our life and our past lives and we feed it and it becomes an entity of its own. The other one is uh, obviously the one that we all know about. So how long have you had it? Well, I've gotten healings from another person quite a bit, but um, this the new one that's out outwards is just like maybe a month. The other one that wraps around and like um, restricts my 
breathing it, it's been it, it was gone and now it's back again right so what do you do spiritual work I, I, what i'm trying to work out is how did you actually how did it come come to your way how, how did you um, it? no i don't do spiritual work <laughs> i have a lot of dark people that have that know me, I think. So I don't know, you don't have to tell me. Okay. So do you want me, do you want to scan her again, Debs, while I uh, I send like a perception around it? And I'll, I'll try and find out what's actually, what it is and why it's around you and what, why, what's it doing? Is that okay? It looks, like a, it looks like a shadow, dark energy, shadow being. Yeah. Right. Is that, do you give me permission for that? Yes. Okay, let's do it. So I'll, I'll try and I'll try and see why it's there. I'll try and remove it. I'll try and send it where it wants to go, and I'll try and put protection on you. Is that okay? Yeah, that would yeah. be great. Okay. So Deb, you can scan or talk, and I'll I'll just do my bit. If you know. Okay. It's there. It's not hiding. Oh, it's almost trapped in the room. Do you feel anything? No, not right now. Do you know anyone with a uniform that wears glasses, uh, sunglasses or what? The, what did you say? Do you know, Do you know anybody like, with a uniform? Yeah, with an hat, <laughs> yeah. Anyone, family, anything like that? Because that's what I'm picking up. No. Did you know anyone with a uniform? Not that I can think of. Ancestor? Um, no. None of your grandfathers? No. They never served in the military? Um, my dad did, but not, um, but he, but, um, my grandparent, my grandpa's didn't. Is your dad deceased? Yes. Do you connect with spirits of the earth? Mm, no. Right, what I'm doing, I'm sending, there is a, uh, a dark spirit around you. Yeah? It's connected to someone who wears a uniform. It's not the person with the uniform. I'm sending a being like uh, love energy this should break it's, it's, it's a very ang angry spirit how long have you lived in the house uh two and a half years yeah it's connected to the house definitely so i'm, I'm going to try and clear it Stop. 
I think he got killed. Uh, he got the person got killed, and it's anger, angry, and I'm going to try and clear it. But it's quite sneaky. It's like a detective. Anything or anything now? No, I could still feel that thing in front of me. That, that was the uh, the recent one. What's the other one again? The other one. It wraps around like underneath where my bra would be breaking. That's like an attachment. Yeah. Okay. And that was. It comes and goes, but it was. It's been a long time, like two years. I get it taken off and then it comes back. It's like a cord, like a, an attachment mm -hmm. to somebody. Right, I'll try and give you. I'll try and give you a blessing. Actually, what I'm doing is I'm creating a portal above your head to bring. Uh, this, the light side of the underworld sea and then at the bottom is a portal at the bottom this doesn't work I'll have to do more work another time I think what, what you could be doing, you could be blocking me as well. You feel any movement with it? No. How am I blocking you? What do I do? It might be the attachment that's blocking you. It's, uh, you have a brother or like a. Uh some male figure that was abusive or controlling yes I wouldn't say abusive but verbally definitely that's what I mean yeah. um, doesn't want you to speak your own voice maybe doesn't take your words for um, truth you know just puts you down you gotta do is send him love and forgiveness and just push him away out of your energy field. And as as you do that, we can pull this cord. It's coming out of your heart chakra attachment. And, and he wraps around your neck. Let's just pull it out. Okay, I'm going to throw him to it. See your white water here. What, what's happening is he's not accepting to move on. That's what it is. The cord, he, he's not, as, he, yeah, as David said, he wants to tie you down. And this big core too goes even into her head. That's pulling it out. Okay, almost done. Just feel it leave, just feel it leave, let it go. Okay, I almost got it out. Wow, this is a big cord. Okay. It's wrapping golden light. Throw that into the white water, white light. Transmute back to source. I'm just gonna scan again. Do you, Debbie, do you feel anything yet? No. No. And I'm going to 
那句了。嗯Alright, I'll do more work later on. Okay. okay, thank I you. Think, I think it's just a bigger job. Okay. That's right. funny. I started clearing my throat on, like constantly while you were doing that, which is unusual for me. So,、okay. I don't know what all that was, but、um, I don't know. <clears throat> and it's gone now. I don't know. Weird. I got the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> God, no, I was fine. I I was fine, and then you started doing that, and I'm like, <clears throat> you know. Anyway. Yeah. And so, well, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, if, if, if you think about the what the session was yesterday, and everything that came up in that, if this is exactly what was said in the session yesterday. Yeah. About your throat, about your throat.、Mm -hmm. speaking your truth, what Creator said to you. So everything that Phil and David were were talking about, think hard about that and what your brother, your relationship with your brother, is a very big part of this. And his family has really done some damage to me since he's died. What what happens? What can happen is you can keep you can keep that negativity, and it can create your own sort of inside demon because、uh, you're not letting it go. You you're getting these people that are being ang angry with you and being horrible, and you're keeping hold of it, and you've got to let it go. You've just got to give send love back to them. send love back to them. Ignore what they're doing. I know it's dead dead difficult, but keeping hold of that this. This can be every time they have a go at you. This can get tighter, if you know、oh. what I mean. Okay.、Yeah? So every time they're angry with you, the cord is getting tighter because you, you you you're owning what they're giving you. You've just got to、uh, you've got to do something about it. You've got to possibly even just ignore them, let them go. Yeah, but with love, yes,、yeah. send, send love. Because that's that's making you have fear and and annoyance and and or you know you, you're keeping hold of it, you're, you're owning it, and it's making your health worse. So it's actually manifesting into an illness or a, a cord around you, and it, you're you're creating that cord by accepting what they're saying or what they're doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And just forgive, forgive any feelings of betrayal, any feelings of、uh, uh, mental abuse, and everything. Forgive them completely. Give your heart and heal that, and just send them tons of love. And then send forgiveness to yourself for feeling anger towards them and hate, and 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 that will also complete the transition of、uh, releasing it. Okay, I'll work on it. Well, this forgiveness is for you. It's not for them. It's for you. Forgiving them is releasing everything that, because your health. This is this is loving yourself. Forgiveness is loving yourself. The other thing is,、uh, and this is sort of meditation where you're healing yourself. Go. What you do is you do do like a meditation and go back to where life hurt、uh, uh, you, where at the moment where you can still remember, and give love to your yourself.、Uh, And it's repairing your soul because that might have damaged your soul. So you're collecting your soul fragments. So Nikki Sutton's soul fragment repair, I think it is. I think that's what you might need as well. So anything that's ever hurt you, any anyone or anything that's ever hurt you, you need to meditate and let it go with love and bring back back damage. Give yourself an ulcer if you understand what I'm on about because it can be quite damaging. And then at the same time, imagine a white light all around you. This white light filling your room, and the shadow being just sending it blessings and love, and sending it back to source. And just see it rising out of your house, out of your energy field, out of your existence, and going back up to source to get transmuted, and leaving you in just radiant beams of heaven's rays all around you right now.
completely engulfing your room and cleansing your energy field. And this being is leaving and going back up to source and see that in your mind and just know that it's going and it's and it's going and they're calling an Archangel Michael to assist. Take away, take away. Okay. So remember David, this this shadow being is yourself because you're accepting all the negativity from them and it's creating this cord. So obviously if you can just send it all out away it should it should thin out and just go to as david said to uh, source okay so then it means my brother's not in a good place it's not your brother it, it's it's basically with it because you're accepting all this negativity from people oh okay yeah so you're basically manifesting this cord from their anger because you're accepting what, what they're saying. You, you, it's made, it's affecting you. You, 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 you're letting it go in. Just let it's it go. It's thought forms. Thought forms are created into actual um, ports. Okay. Of negativity that wrap around you. Okay. Yeah. Your brother's you, you need to release her. You need to release him. It's not healthy um, holding on to this emotions because it's actually keeping part of him with with you he wants to be released from you as well so just that forgiveness that total forgiveness of all the trauma that was created and there will be tears and there will be emotions but there'll be golden light where you as you're releasing this and, and letting it go completely it'd be a big release and it'd be like a vacuum of release and just bring in love with it think of the best moments of your life then Replace them with them. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. We're going to move on to Aurora. Aurora Rose, I would like a healing. Okay. Hello. Hello. Are you guys able to hear me okay? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I just had a lot going on and I'm not sure what it is right now but I just don't feel right um, and uh, I don't know I just I can't figure it out I was wondering if you guys could help me yeah, how, long, how, how long have you had this this feeling it's been quite a while but it's been more prevalent within the last uh, month or so do, do you know what I'm picking up. You've actually picked some up. You picked, yes, uh, I, I just, I just got to say, <laughs> you've got an attachment. Hmm. It's draining you. I was wondering. Hmm. Oh, it's a child. Oh, she's got two attachments. One of them is from uh, one of the messengers groups here. You picked some up from one of them. Do you want me? I'll do. I'll. I'll try and. Am I removing or are we both removing? One each. <laughs> hey, um, I'll, I'll do the child because Jesus is actually here to take the child. Mm -hmm. There's something in the back of your, it's your neck. There's something in the back of your neck. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I actually. I'll do the, I'll do the one. one in her the child is in her stomach. Yeah. What? What's the back of your neck? Have you been feeling that? Um, yeah, my vertebrae are actually out of place, and I've been going. Or I saw a chiropractor the other day. Mhm. Mm okay. I think it's a, like a blockage as well to the spirit world. So, is your spirit psychic? Is that gone down a bit? Oh yeah, everything has uh, diminished for me. Okay. You want to do the the baby in the stomach, and I'll do the yes yeah. the, uh, the attachment and the. And well, whatever's in the back of the neck. Okay. Yes.
esophagus area. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. What was that? You got it. Um, healing energy all in your stomach and your esophagus area and in your your intestines. All is healing energy. So you're, Thank you. Yeah, that's all. It's going to stay there three or four days and it'll just absorb into your organs. Did you feel it? Did you feel the back of your neck? Did you feel any work being done? It hurts really bad right now. Yeah, you, you had a, you had a, when I say dark entity, I mean not very, very dark, but when it was taking a lot of your energy, you probably worn out every, every day actually. Oh yeah, I was extremely drained, um, getting migraines daily. Um, and I, my abilities and um, everything have just almost been non-existent lately. Yeah. You might feel like a lot of fate around you. They're just, they're just helping out. So, all the kind of energy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. S I think it's removed, getting removed now. I'm. S it's only in love, it's painful love, so it is dark. So every time you're annoyed and angry, you're just feeding it. And 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 what happens and is And I have been that Yeah, hmm? I've been that way a lot. Yeah. Sorry, I mean, my son is love like uh, yeah, love yourself unconditionally. Like do do things like look in the mirror every day and say tell yourself really how much you love your dad. It will really help. I have definitely been working on that, um, but lately I've just been immersed with a lot of anger, which is unusual for me. Mm. Well, what, what's happening is the entity that's in the back of your neck knows how to switch you on to get, because it understands how you get angry, so it'll make that happen, if you know what I mean. So it's feeding on that anger. So every time you have an anger, you, you try and do try and do something that you like, you love, yeah. Uh, I was told, oh, oh good tree, I think I said that last time. When, when you feel really, really depressed and anger, just take your, are they your children in the background, yeah? yeah. Um, I do have a three-year-old boy. Yeah, take him in the park if you've got one nearby and then just hug a tree for a few minutes. Yeah. Hugging a tree is great advice. Because like that suits that. I, I was actually seeing that dark entity as like a like a dark, angry tree in a way, you know. Like so, like if you hug yeah. it, gave it help. Uh, I, I think that, that's been picked up from the IT by the way. Not here, but I, I do. That's what I picked up at the beginning. So when you go on these uh, messenger services or anything like that, put a shield around yourself. Yeah. Okay. Feel, feel any tingling? Um, I do feel a little lightheaded. Mm. I'm taking it out. It's important to go into your heart space right now and start feeling love, lots of love. Let's everybody in the everybody that's in this space right now send her a lot of love. Send send her lots of love so that that negative energy wants to leave. It runs it runs out. <laughs> yes, it wants to escape.
I mean, so, so next time you meditate, meet your inner child, get connected to your inner child again. Your inner child's broke a bit, so connect to your inner child. Yeah. Okay, I was doing that a lot, and then I quit because I thought I was done. But I'll redo it again. Okay. Does that feel? Do you, did you feel all that? Oh yes. Right as Deb got done with the light language, I just felt like a huge burst open up of energy in my heart area. Well, and what? now I do feel pain, but I think it's just from the shift in vertebrae. I don't feel what I was feeling, um, the heaviness and the um, high, um, like I used to. But what, what happens is the entity is feeding off your energy, but it can create a little, dam little, little damage. It, it can da create a little Sorry. damage. It's okay. Come here. Come wants, here. Just wants to get involved. Yeah, what's happened? The entity has created a little little damage where it was, and that's where the pain is. So it just it's just healing. What I saw, I saw like a, a spiral of uh, white light going up going down from above, going into your head, and just taking it out. I actually saw that, which I've never seen a spiral energy before. It's normally just things, but it was a spiral, so it like grabbed hold of it, pulled it out. So. I usually work with, uh, um, when I work with energy, I usually spiral it a lot. Hmm, that's good. All right. <coughs> Is that here? Thank you. I, yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's fine. Is Deb gone, by the way? <laughs> I, think, I think she has. Let's see, I'll have to uh, next question. Yeah, drink plenty of water. You need plenty of water after that. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Violet? Hi, Violet. Hey, how are you guys? I'm okay. Don't think Deb's here at the moment. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, what, what healing do you need? Because I, I, I can see you're quite ill, actually. Yeah. Um, sorry, I get a mental. Um, I've dealt with um, chronic hmm? pain for, I've dealt with chronic pain for over 20 years. Um, and it's progressively getting worse. I've been told I need a spinal fusion in my lumbar, but I, um, I guess you could say unwilling to go that route because I believe that much in it, um, the ability to heal myself. Um, and 
as far as anything else than what's on top of that. Um, my lack of focus and concentration and memory has just continued to diminish. Okay. Um, my abilities have been hit or miss. I'm just in really bad shape. Okay. Okay. When, it happened, when, when it happened 20 years ago, was there anything that happened at the time? Did anyone die at the time when it started? When it started did anyone die? Well, or? it started with a car accident. Yeah. Okay. Um, nobody died. That's how I learned about the back problem. Um, I battled anorexia and lots of trauma in my teen and early 20s. Um, a lot of that work I have done, um, but my body just seems to keep I guess you could say holding on to it. I'd say I'd say your body was in shock as well from the car accident. Not not just what happened in the car accident, but it was also shock, and you're still recovering. From, well, you're not even recovering from that shock. Uh, do you want? Me? It's, it's a very every day is more painful. It's attacking my joint. They're talking fibro, rheumatoid arthritis, if not other stuff yeah. as well. Okay, I'll, and you, obviously you want healing of me. I'll do healing. Tell me if you feel anything. I'm not going to be able to do a full. I'm not going to be able to reverse it overnight. But okay. let's see. Let's see if I can if I can improve it. Then healing is the yep. way. But I'm not not sure how long. So just accept it. And Absolutely. T tell me what you feel, uh, David. You were going to say something. You want to say something? Right, I'm starting now. Oh. <laughs> Acupuncture method um, just to relieve the tension points, and then a crystal crystal programming. But uh, if you're doing your thing there, Phil, I'll just I'll help you out with that. Thank you, guys. Just uh, uh, anyone watching this, as a you know now, or anyone wants healing, you can still get everyone can get healing when I'm sending this anyway. Anything? Uh, the whole, the, my whole body is feeling right now. I feel a warm surge right around, down, like the mid part of my back. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm trying to create a cone of energy around you, really. And at the same time as we're doing this, tune in to before the accident and how you're feeling. Remember that kind. And um, as you're tuning into that, I'm going to tune into that. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the frequencies you were at there in your optimal healing and tune those frequencies into your now being. Just remember, just focus in on the time before the accident. Okay, so David, I'm going to ask you this though. Um, so that was a really bad time in my life. Uh, so is, is that yeah. still applicable? No, just the health, your health, not like situations. Oh, okay. Like okay. Your, your general health. Okay, got it. Can I can I suggest something? Even though it was that bad, give yourself an hug. Say, give myself a hug. Give, give yourself a, a hug of that time. 
because part 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 of you is is probably there. Part of you is probably at the accident. It's, you still left part of your your essence there, and you need to like collect it. Okay. Soul fragmentation. Yeah. Kind of feel like I'm I'm spinning a little bit. I don't know if that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually spinning the cocoon around. You see, you clock that one. Out. Oh, so you actually like it's literally spinning. Yeah, that's fine. have an energetic body that's just 100% responsible for healing, um, we're just activating it right now, so it will continue on healing as well. Very shaky. I don't know if that also helps. Yeah, what I would do after this, I have water, but have some substance that your body wants. Uh, I haven't had much of an appetite lately. Yeah. Like, I've, I thought for a while I had an attachment of some sort. Grounding <laughs> food, uh, carrots, lettuce, um, things that are grounding because this is. Uh, a big energy boost for you, basically. Yeah. You, you actually, I'm not just saying this, you actually look better now than you did five minutes ago. Okay. Thank you. I just got a cold rush through my body. Mm-hmm. Now. Yeah, your healing's totally coming on line because it's just going to be pretty big for you. Where they're asking you to do the operation, yeah? I've put, okay, that's I'm trying to put some up there, but we'll try and, I'm not guaranteeing it, it'll try and help you on that area, and it'll be about, so it'll be there for seven days. Thank you. I've declined the surgery now for 20 years, so, you know. Yeah. My whole body is starting to shake. Mm. Put one of your fingers just a Okay, there. we're back. Sorry about that. Your left leg. I never noticed. Knee, above your knee. And then take a deep breath and breathe out that block. It's uh, building that pressure there. In my leg, you said? Yeah, above your knee, left leg kind of just above your knee on the left leg to the left side just put your fingers on it and then take a deep breath and then blow it out that was really good 
Uh, what well, I've done, I put it, I put some around the problem. It, they're asking you to operate. You, when you relax, you will might feel movement around that area. That's trying to fix it. It's trying to do a fix on it. So keep me informed the next seven days. Uh, I can't. Gar- I, I can't guarantee it, but you know. I on your right that. shoulder. On your right shoulder, Kate. Put your hands on there, like on your right shoulder blade. Um, at the top, and then take a deep breath, and then blow that out. Just one more, take one more breath in. Very good. Deb, do you want to scan Violet for us? Deb. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's get more. You, you want to sit down? Yeah, <sighs> and then there's just one thing. If you put both your hands over your head, like on each side, one on the left, one on the right, and um, take a deep breath and blow out. It's just going to connect all your healing um, energetic bodies with your body. It'll be really good. So just do that. Take a deep breath and blow out. Yeah, I'm seeing now it's, it's, it's connecting with your back to the healing. So you'll, you'll be able to self-heal a lot as well now to continue on. You look you look better than you did when you started anyway. That's good. Yeah, I'm already exhausted. Violet. Creator's putting an energy through your crown chakra into your blood flow, your blood system, and into your nervous system. You may feel a rush. I already feel it starting through my hand. This is going to go through all of your 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 whole body through your all your organs and your nervous system and then just at night call on like you'll probably won't need it tonight but like starting tomorrow it'll it'll only help to keep calling on your high vibrational healing teams all your high guides higher aspects just to assist you that keep keeping this flow of healing together and um, you'll be able to feel it when you call them in. Like they're just waiting for you. They're your guys. They're they're they are waiting for you to ask for help all the time. So just remember that. But Violet, yeah, yeah. Some some hours just been told. If you're having your palm, create a tablet. Uh, you, you you can channel energies, can't you? You can do healing. Yes. Yeah. Ch- channel yeah. energy into the hand. Ask the universe for the ingredients to help you recover from what you've got. Just move it around in, in like a pill shape. Do this every, do this twice a day, one in the morning, one in the evening. And then drink, uh, put it in, in the mouth and drink it with a proper drink of water. What I do also do is try and lift the vibration of your water with your hands by sending in love. The happy time, you must have a happy time of a memory. Put the memory in there, have the tablet, drink it. The one in the morning, one in the evening, do that for seven days. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Right. Okay, so this energy going through your blood flow and your nervous system is continuing for the next three to four days and it's purifying and rid- ridding your body of all these toxins. Thank you. And I'm seeing all this going through your body. Yeah. So continue to drink. 
food for the next several days to, to, to flush out the toxins in your body. Okay. It's, a, it's flushing through all your system. This is the quickest way to make you feel better. Thank you. saying should be fine. A little bit I'm exhausted too. No. Uh, I can feel a lot throughout my whole body. I guess that's the best way of putting it. Uh, you should sleep really well. Well, it's been a major problem for years, so I'm looking forward to that. Came in, came, came in for all of them. I love it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I have no idea. Next one, Deb. Alice wants some eel. I um, I have no list anymore since we got booted. Oh yeah, everyone. Uh, I should put my video on, should I? Doesn't happen often. <laughs> Hiya. Yeah. yeah, um I I had my thyroid move many years ago. Um and recently I have a numbness in my toes. It's almost like I can't feel my toes at all. Um and it's probably been that case for about a month, maybe longer than that. Um and my stomach, I've had issues with my stomach for a good while and um, at the moment it, 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 I'm having stomach issues. What spiritual? Do you do anything spiritual? Would you, other than meditate? I, I'm getting a grounding problem with your feet and also probably mm. a, an energy out of balance. Do, do you want to scan Deb and I'll do the healing on you? If you Rick's the scanner. I just get the download. So Rick's the healer. I okay. do the downloads. Okay. <laughs> so wait after you do meditation, uh, try and ground yourself because I think it's blocking it, your your feet, getting a blockage in your feet. So uh, I'll see. Uh, mm. I, I do. I do ground like every day and try to be you know as as grounded as possible. Mm. So, yeah. Have you had these for how long have you had these again? Probably for about know, maybe a month, maybe two months. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll send you some healing then if you if you just accept it. And, uh, is it coming from your left ankle? Like your left, is your left ankle sore? Well, well, my right ankle, my right foot is probably the most. It gets swollen. But both feet are feeling, both toes are feeling numb on both feet. Yeah, my, it's my left, your, your, your right, sorry about that. Look at the shin, Phil. Look at the shin and the ankle. It looks like there's uh, something. No, I'm getting her circulatory system. Is that a bad? Also getting, I'm also getting her stomach. Um, so, Father's going to be doing a healing. Something in her back, on her spine, in her nervous system. So he's going to start with her spine because that's the connection for her. 
whole body. So he's you may feel you may feel you may feel um vibration or a heat because he's lighting up from your root chakra all the way up to the top of your head, bottom of your head, your neck. He's gonna go across your hips and across your shoulders. Your whole spine is lit up. He's making adjustments to your nervous system in your back and your, your discs in your back. some rewiring along your spine wrecking your you've got some bulging discs in your back and some of the nerves are pinched which yeah, is causing some of the issue I can see a mid back feel issue some, yes uh, Alice are, yeah. you, are you the one who's picking up the image of first world war Yes. Hmm. I, I think that pain as well is to do with a spirit around you. Right. I think you're picking up. I saw, I saw a sergeant major, like a colonel, very proud, standing in his uniform, very proud. That's what I saw. Yeah, I think you're picking up the pain. I think you might, might have someone, uh, someone in the house that had a problem in World War One, and you're picking up the pain he had before he died. Why? He's probably trying to uh, contact you, but you're, you, as he's trying to contact you, you're getting, you're getting some of his pain as well. That's completed. Now we're going to go to your stomach. Yeah, can you scan the buildings uh, to see if, uh, oh, Rick, sorry. See if there's a, uh, a spirit needs saving that in World War One. Father says there's two. There's two. Men. I'm getting the name Stanley. So if we see the two men. One's from the war, one is, a, is from somewhere else. You know, I'm picking up the one has shin splinters from walking, marching so long. That's probably why you're having three problems. Okay, let me complete healing in your, your stomach and your intestines. your bladder and your healing in your bladder. And your healing in your heart, the arteries, your respiratory system is being healed.
your pancreas, your liver. I'm sending uh, love to the two spirits in there. I'm not sure if they want to go, but I think sending them love will probably be the answer. All right, this body healing is going to last for three to four days and, and the energy will just be absorbed within your system and through your organs. Drink a lot of fluids to release all the toxins. Your circulatory system will feel a lot better. The swelling should should go away. Just drink lots of fluids, and little salts, and it's all tea. Thank you, Devon. You should feel a lot different. Thank you. Okay. Now to the people that are around you. <laughs> the yeah. other person used to. I, it, there was one from the war, but the other person that I see is, I think it's an ancestor. I don't think it's negative. One was negative. <clears throat> I think the ancestor one's trying to help the soldier. Trying to help. That's going to be my grandmother. Yeah. Mm. The soldier needs help. It's got anger, but don't know. Don't want to let go. Confused. It, because it died, it did a lot of marching, and it died on the battlefield very quickly. I've got a team there now. I've asked the team to go down. Do have a team there. Mm. You sure do have a team there helping. I think it's been sorted. Yeah. Thank you. Really okay. grateful, thank you. They've moved on. They've moved on. Mm. Dead upset a bit before it went and uh, it was okay. I think a, a family member helped it. I think, I think they brought yeah. a family member down. Yeah. Okay. Thank you they very much. On. You're welcome. Have a beautiful day. Or evening. Have an evening there, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Anybody know who's next? Because I we have it, a it's, uh, screen is it, here. I, I hope I say this right. It's either Rima or Rima. Ry I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, it's for me now, I think. Rima. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Hi. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Hi everyone. Thanks for everything that you do for doing this for us. It's, uh, it's a precious uh, time. Thanks a lot. But uh, um, I hope that you can hear me because I have a weak signal here and I can't uh, hear all the the words. Is it okay? Can yes. you hear me? Good. Yeah. Do you have a camera that you can turn on so we can see? I, I, it's, let me try. I'm, I'm doing. I will try now. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Uh, 
what I'm thinking of that uh, I have this uh, this pain, but not that much, not as as before. So, um, but uh, I ha- I I feel that it's the ending starting. So I don't know if it is um, if, uh, if it is uh, right or not. I I think this is the end now for everything, and we're going to start. Um, a new new age yeah. but i feel it in my body that the, even in my um, s- cells i feel that the, the the old ones are gone and i'm i'm starting to re- reverse the new cells mm. but i have this uh, uh, advertise it, it says here you've got in, uh, you've got arthritis where have you got the arthritis yeah right yeah my my hands. Do, do you have a lot of uh, the main one? The main what over the years of healing, I've noticed people who have had, who have had a stress time in their life, or they they keep yes. the stress, they keep the stress in in, in the head, and uh, tend when it fills up in the head, it leak it leaks out of the head into the weak point, and a lot of times it's in the bones and arthritis. So do you, have you had a lot of stressful times lately? Yeah. Yes, we feel, we we had it in, in this uh, in this area, Mediterranean place, and uh, especially in Lebanon. So it's uh, it's a little bit uh, um, it, it's insane and crazy <laughs> situation here. A lot of things are changed, and even our lives changed. For, uh, so from uh, one year and a, and a half. Uh, it's a lot of things happened here, so this is yes, uh, get us some, uh, get me some uh, stress and uh, depression. But I'm, I'm trying to 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 go out of it. Uh, uh, we can send you healing, but if you if you don't have a way of removing this stress, it will come back. So you've yes. got to, you've got to find a, a stress relief. Meditation is a great stress release. And if you get the right vibration and you do it regular and you can even have the drink of water and put love vibration it removes it but if you keep hold of it here it can, the brain can only hold so much stress before it seeps out of your brain and it finds your weak point and at the moment yours is our price so i'll send you i'll give you some healing but you've got to find a way of not keeping hold of the stress yeah have you got anything deb I'm, um, I'm also getting that um, many people, um, before we incarnate here, we choose experiences that we want to have and um, in her case, this is part of her experience, mm-hmm. unfortunately, that the arthritis is part of her experience. So we can try and ease some of your pain, but um, this this is part of your experience on this earth. You, the, that you asked for. The, the other thing is, it might be also learning to how to get rid of the stress. So yes. it, it could be a test as well. So if you can accept it, I'll, I'll see what I, we can do. Do you, do you ever do spiritual stuff by the way before I carry on? What do you meditate? Yeah. 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 Rima, you're an angel. You you came from the angelic oh. realm. Wow. Father wanted yeah, you to feel that. Also, getting to be really good to go out, like when you, and just to talk to people and make some friends if you can. So, when your work is done here, when your work is done here, you volunteered. You volunteered to come here and to become human from the angelic uh, realm. Yeah. So, when you're done, uh-huh. when you're done here, you will go back to being an angel. Just so you know that. Yes, <laughs> I feel it. Yes. So when. When you, before you came here, you said, I want to experience certain illnesses. 
so that I would so oh, I would yeah. know so I would know what it's like to be human. I want to experience arthritis. I want to experience certain things. Yeah, okay, are you a mother? No, not yet. No. Okay. So are are you a sister? You you want to experience being a sister, a brother, or, you know, things like that. Oh, you want all these things. All your all your experience you've had so far in this life. Those are things you chose. Before you came there. You 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 chose your parents. <laughs> I chose this experience, right? <laughs> yes, you did. You chose where you live. Yes. Where you where you live right now. Yes. So, I want you to know that you're clairvoyant. You can channel. So all these gifts are just waiting for you to trust and open up. Yes, this is what I'm. I'm trying to do it now, and I'm to go ahead of leave everything and go ahead straight away up. Oh, you're gonna go straight away up. Don't worry. <laughs> no matter what, you're going up. Get in there. I can't hear that. I can't hear that much. If you uh, um, connect the. I've added uh, I've added some into you to to get rid of the stress. By the way, like a little portal. <laughs> Never done that before. <laughs> And it'll just hopefully the stress will release. I'm not hearing, I'm not anymore hear any any words. Mm. If I, I I hope that it's recorded, and I got one. I got the record keys. Mm -hmm. It is being recorded, and uh, it's going to be on YouTube. Yes, thank you. Thanks a lot. This will be probably part two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't. <laughs> but what, what we do, we section every hour. So part one's the first hour, part two the second hour. So, how did you feel with the healing, by the way? Did you feel it? Um, I felt, yes, I felt that uh, it's a light, a light, the smooth uh, energy, was it, you know? Um, I was stressed, you know, a lot of things happened uh, because of that I did a group for, uh, for sending healing and uh, on um, WhatsApp, a group WhatsApp uh, sending healing and peace to Lebanon because we had it, uh, this situation from 1975 and still we're going on but from one year and a half it was uh, uh, crazy, crazy situation in Lebanon. So I did. Uh, it's it's now for ten, uh, ten or twelve uh, groups. I did. We are we're doing at nine o'clock um, mid uh, night. Uh, we're sending healing together. So it's a collective group, and it's uh, it's amazing. So I'm trying to do something that. Uh, I can I can do it, you know. I, uh, a lot of things uh, couldn't do anymore because, uh, you know, the um, uh, um, all of them, uh, all of the things are, are collapse here. So I'm I'm doing something that I I knew. This is I knew can uh, how to heal or sending healing. This is so because of that I did. Eva, she froze. She froze. I just wanted to say, like, she watches the replay. Her higher self was saying just to, to reach out to more people, like in the parks, and make some friends and stuff. And it's going to make a huge difference mm -hmm. in the uh, in the joy and happiness in her life. She's embodying, yeah. she's embodying all this like energy, and she's working so hard on her healing and her higher dimensional being. Uh, but it's also important to work as being a person 
and the physical and having those connections and friendships and just to reach out a little bit more and take some chances talk to a couple strangers when you feel that they're they're happy when you feel they're right like the right person to talk to just to mention how nice the weather is or anything to strike up a conversation and uh, see see what you might be very surprised that you, you'll end up having people who are coming over for tea and, and really nice conversations and it will help out a lot. Yeah, yeah, of course. We I, I did this a lot, you know, but now we are a lot down for, um, for six months, maybe six months or more. And we, we can't go out. And this is the uh, other situation for us because uh, also the, the pol uh, political, uh, political situation, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, all collapsed. Because of that, uh, we have uh, uh, six or seven months we're still in, in home. We can't go out. So this is will will get worse and worse because of that. Maybe we had this. Uh, I had this test. Uh, what I would say is don't. No, say, I think it's. Yeah, don't say it'll get worse. Say it'll get better because you're blocking the future of it getting. You're making it. You're manifesting it getting worse, and you're putting negativity. But it's getting worse. It's getting better. Yeah, it will get better. The energies are changing so much right now. Like everything's getting rebirthed. Like you even know, right? So now is the time where everyone can really go into their power, manifest the futures and the realities more so than ever. Mm. And just go by moment by moment and and just ask yourself, is this moment bringing me joy? And if not, don't do it. If it is, then pursue it. Yeah, another thing, if you feel a release, it's, it's, yes, re yes. it's, it's releasing your negativity outside, to, um, possibly source, I'm not sure, instead of inside. So I haven't done a mechanism that you're going to release it and not keep hold of it, okay? So you might even feel yeah. that. You might feel the stress leaving you thinking, because stress leaving a brain becomes a vacuum. There's a vacuum there, got to be replaced by something. So you might just feel it releasing, yeah. Yes, okay, thanks a lot. Thanks, yeah. gratitude for everyone of you. Thanks a lot. Okay. Uh, Linda said Thanks that a lot. you're welcome. Linda said that uh, it's the first time here I've joined this melt melting and from when I started the old body has been vibrating. It's incredible tense. So thank you for that. Uh, I'm not sure what what an angle three means. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, Reynard, Reynard, sorry, is he? If there's time, could I get a third eye check? Thanks. Oh, Reinhardt. Right, yeah, right, right, right. I'll say it yeah. one day. Yeah, thank you. Um, the, um, it's it's ma um, mainly about my feeling if its classification is okay or retreating, and just a check and yeah. Hmm. You want healing as well? Yeah, if there's something to heal, yeah. that's you might, cool. might. I mean, Even if you have some energy, it's fine. Father putting his energy through your third eye. Um, he wants to do an expansion. So you may feel some pressure. Only slight, but still okay. You, you've actually just received a download, and I don't even know what it is, so I'll leave that to you to find out. Yeah. <laughs> That's like an ability download, so I'm not sure what it is. Yep. I think he's good at solving things, so he's like putting the pieces together right now. Yeah, I do that. It's a beautiful download. I have a 
a lot of joy in your life, the way that you look at things, your, your perspectives, and just enjoying the uh, simple things like the rains and the animals and the trees and stuff. So that's just beautiful. Definitely, uh, definitely something that a lot of people can uh, learn from. Yes, he has a beautiful perspective on life. Yeah, it's, it's, feel that? it's wonderful. It's yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you have like an, an idea yeah, for like inventing something, like, because um, it seems like you're connected with some higher knowledge, like uh, some like tech teams or something like that, that are, um, just start drawing it out. Just start drawing it out and see see what comes. Put the, I'm, right, your, right your I'm idea. also working on it to get my knowledge back, you know. <laughs> Well, I got Dave. I got he could be a, he could teach something to do with this uh, download. He's got something spiritual, so you could actually do you, you can enhance it if you know what I mean, and actually tell people. So whatever knowledge you've got, you can give this when when it opens up when you see it clearer. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I understand. I know. But you cannot tell everything. It's just like it is. You, you've got to find it. <laughs> Did you have any other questions, Reinhardt? No, um, I think you hit the nail with uh, the healing you gave me. So that's more than I ha had expected to get. And thank you very much for all what you do, not with me, but with all the others which are here in this group. And it is uh, beautiful, yeah. And um, and it lifts up uh, the, spe the perspective of our life. That's beautiful. Thank you very much. And if you have some ideas about like um, ways to bring people happiness or love, like it's. Uh... I don't know how you're gonna do it, but um, I'm just feeling like you're you're onto something here. But um, just just uh, keep an open mind for for that. Yeah, it is something like it has been said already in certain certain parts that you have to have an open mind. You have to love you to give and to be love. Um, yeah, and um, and. Um, not enforce the lower frequencies when when you are able to lift it up so that's yeah it's, it's, it's a something you, right, you right, right, like we'll just play a beatles song right we'll just play a beatles song love is all there is right yeah <laughs> oh, this, this, right yes. hearts, my buddy we, we like the beatles <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was during my time when I was young. needles and pins and whatever, you know. <laughs> so that was a good time. That was a good time. Thank yes. Yeah. He and I are rusty old people. We we like our Beatle music. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> okay, well, I, like music. I love you all. Thank you. It's Kaff next. Kaff. Cafe, I think Cap's gone. I know. Uh, next one, yeah, Denise. Where's the unmoved? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so it was during a lot of spirit uh, releasing in the first week of January, 
And ever since, like, I got, like, some weird things put in my energy field. And my friend that's a healer uh, said that they were, like, kind of worm-like, like, burrowing kind of entities. I just wanted to make sure that it's all gone, like, she got all of it, and that I don't have anything else floating around there. <laughs> How did they get in? Because normally your field stops them, don't it? But it's actually quite, it's borrowed through your... You haven't had an injury of any sorts in, at the time, a bang or anything like that, because sometimes if you damage your aura, it can get yeah. through, through the aura. I'm not really sure. But, Deb, do you want to scan it? Scan it? Do you want me to heal you? And check, uh, um, you might get very warm. If you get very warm, you've probably got something. <laughs> yeah. Is that, are you accepting my healing? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> You have an attachment on the back of your neck. Ah. <laughs> it's an older gentleman. Funny first name, Claus, 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 Claus. <laughs> he hasn't been there very long. So he wasn't worm person, he just a lost soul. Has your neck been bothering you? Not, not this side. Not you know, this side here. There. Picking out. Yeah. He hasn't been there long. Do you know, I think he came with the worms. Really? I don't know. Mm. Just trying to. You got a bit of residue from it, but you haven't got any worms left. <laughs> <laughs> it's paras spiritual parasites, I'll call them. I mean, yeah. Sounds, sounds, sounds wrong, did not it? It does sound wrong. I didn't think. I never think. I never think when I do this. Sometimes I'm, 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 I get told something. I've got to think about what I'm getting told. Sometimes. <laughs> mm. Yeah. 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 They weren't worms. They were like uh, like slugs, actually. White, thin slugs. The, the residue, the memory, still there, but they have gone. He likes your light. <laughs> You're a pretty girl, he said. He's uh, like <laughs> seven, 75 years old. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh. You were supposed to keep going. <laughs> Not stop. <laughs> he doesn't. He didn't know about the light. He just saw yours and figured he'd hop on. <laughs> I think what he did, he damaged the aura a little bit. That's how the worms came through. Okay, okay. That makes sense. That's kind of what it felt like. Yeah, parasite. Spiritual parasite. <laughs> well, no, no, I call them slugs, actually. I don't think they're worms. <laughs> Uh, that's better, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, he's removing himself and Jesus is here to take him. <laughs> I'm boosting your aura field as well. Uh, where he came in. I'm getting very up. Hey, have you increased in temperature? Yeah. yeah. That's good. That's the residue burning out. Feels like a hot, like just really hot energy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the area he was in, and he's gone. He's gone to the yeah. area he is in. Just 
to remember <laughs> for, for, for a time there, there was a recycle. There was a reincarnation recycle. And there were people that just constantly kept being recycled. They would go, cross over and recycle. So they didn't know about the light. Some of those people are now crossing over. Yeah, it felt and like a thousands and thousands. And it's, thousands it's just of go back yeah. to the recycle. Yeah. So some of them are leaving. Mm -hmm. They don't know where to go because the recycle is gone. That recycle is gone. Yeah, it really, it really felt like a Which lot. Which is why someone must be getting <laughs> attachments. Yeah. <laughs> like the imprint like each each soul like if i looked up close at it i could see their their like design you know what i mean each soul has an energetic design to it and um i was just like oh cool this looks really nice you know? <laughs> yeah that was weird okay you know we learn all these things as we go here and i'm and i'm finding um, and especially where I live, where we live, is all these retirements around. As I kept saying, I don't want to live in a retirement area. Well, in Arizona, yeah. there's a lot of people everywhere. <laughs> I live. I live in, where you go. I live in a big city, so we have a lot going on here. <laughs> there's a, well, like, mass, massive. <laughs> Where we live now, they turned it into a retirement area. So there's some young families, very few now. But, you know, their grandfather did, but where I am, it, there's people that are one step away from, I mean, we've had a lot of people buy on this. <laughs> so, <all right. laughs> Keeps you busy. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was cool. Thanks. Uh, it's definitely the energy that attracted it. Attracted the uh, being spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's all happy now. Oh, good. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to stop. It's <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably a lot of laughing. <laughs> yeah. You tell them, keep going. Keep going. Move along. <laughs> it's like white light. They don't well, know about the white that. light. <laughs> they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for clearing that up. I'll let the next person go. <laughs> it's uh, Alina. Alina. I, I've been having pain in my right breast and it's kind of like coming and going and sometimes it's just some kind of a tightness and I can like have trouble to remember like for how long could be two months or so and I don't know lately I've be, been also like exploring I, I've been like feeling over years that I might have a twin brother like a vanishing twin so I'm not sure it it could be connected somehow. Really not sure. Do you want do you want some healing, Bo? Yeah, well you ask for healing anyway. But why do you say you I'll say chest. Why do you say you you write chest? Did I write chest? On on your comments. Did I write chest or breast? Breast, it's breast. I was just being diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Uh, why? Any reason? You got pain. Have you, do you have pain there, or you have a lump? Yeah, I, yeah, I have a pain there. Okay, I'll, I'll send you some healing there. Obviously, uh, see the medic. If you got in doubt, because we're just we're spiritual healers, and under my insurance, I've got to say that to you anyway. Uh, it's a bit of private about insurance. I am. Uh, okay, I'll send you some healing. Anywhere else, by the way, or just that? Just that. Okay, just relax then. And uh, Deb can scan you.
I know your um, voice was too soft, so I couldn't hear you. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to go with what Creator, my internet connection. And I'm going to just go with what Creator gives me for a message, okay? He's putting a, um, an energy through your crown that's going to go through your whole system. This is going to heal every organ in your body. It's going to go through your bloodstream. Through your spine and your heart muscle, your kidneys, your bladder, your gallbladder, your liver, your every single organ in your body. It's going to go through every bone, every muscle, every tendon, from the top of your head to your, your toes. Energetic ping pong. Can you feel yeah, it? I can feel the energy coming like from left to right, left to right, and yes. making me dizzy. <laughs> yes. And you know you're going to have to drink a lot of water. He's cleared everything up, everything up by doing this way through every organ in your body. If you drink tea, it's fine, but drink, you know, drink water or clear liquids as much as you can. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> I've tried to heal. Uh, you're right, rest to see, see how it goes. But obviously, see medics if, if you really, you know, if you if it troubles you. But uh, I've tried to do something wrong. Inside your brain, just down, down about there, I think, is is a connection to the spirit world. And if it's hurting, it's probably not quite. It just needs refining. But do you want me to try and upgrade it? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll try and do that. And Deb, do you want to scan check for anything?
Yeah, it's the only thing that's an uh, issue is exactly what you found, so. Hmm? Sorry? What was that, Deb? I'm, I'm not finding any other issue. Yeah. I don't, I don't find any other issue except that what you found. Have you been astro, astro traveling a lot? You astro travel? Uh, hmm? Yes. I, I, yeah, mm. I, I, I always dream this way. Yeah. I've heard that. Yeah, I think I've uh, yeah, I I mentioned it before. You're a warrior. Uh, you're a warrior. In astro. Oh. Have I ever said that? The warrior? Yeah. very powerful. Hmm? She is very powerful. Hmm. Thank you. I think that could be like a defense mechanism. Oh, okay. So if there's anything that, uh, if there's anything that not quite right near the area, you might, do you, do you get pain or buzz? <laughs> Before it was my right side, and then now it turns to the uh, left side. Yeah. I, I guess my uh, there is a four lobe that it's activate, but I guess my front one is activate, and the other one in the back, uh, my uh, my lobe uh, in the back is activate also. So I I wasn't sure if that one is an activation. I cleared it. I cleared it a bit, but I, I do think it's also you might have a warning system. Warriors tend to have warning systems for when they, they, they sleep or anything. If they're getting attacked, you, you wake up basically. Thank you. Okay. Linda. Uh, hi. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. Yeah, you you've got a skin rash. Rash. I have. It's it started on my leg, and now it's on my stomach, and now a bit on my neck, and mm. it's it's sore as well. But it's only started since um, January. And that's since you turned vegan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It does sound like uh, it's a connection there. It does feel like it's a connection. Is Deb it's gone? Yeah, I think Deb's gone again. <laughs> uh, let's see, he's gone. Right. Are you, are you soaking your. Are you mm. so. Mm. Mm. It's a chemical on, on spray. They're spraying chemicals. It's chemicals. Could it be something in the bath? I've been taking, um, I've got a new salt bath. Could it be something to do with that? It, it's chemicals, so it could be that. Uh, I think you were thinking of chemtrails, but you just never know. No, right. no. Do you eat a raw food? Do I eat a lot of raw food? Um, yeah. Fruit, yes. Not so much. When you buy, when you buy it, are you soaking? Are you washing it in, or soaking it in like vinegar water to get the? No. You need she to soak. It. Take it, take it, and put. It. See, they sprayed chemicals on their on their fruits and vegetables. Right. You're allergic to the chemicals they spray, the bug spray they spray on it. Right. So to soak, soak it, it in. in Water in white white vinegar, a cup of white vinegar off of the fruits and vegetables before you cook it or eat it. Okay, thank you. Do you want some healing? It's it's the chemical. Yeah, if I could. I'll see if I can also change your brain pattern a little bit for the chemicals. Because obviously not everyone gets the the rashes, do they? It's 
Also, you know how they're they're sterilizing all their everywhere you go. They're spraying and sterilizing where you walk, where you you, you go into the store. They they're spraying everything. You know, yeah. because they're afraid people are going to catch COVID. People are allergic to all this stuff. You know what I mean? Yes. This is all. Like, so where you where you work, everybody's washing everything down with all these chemicals. They, this is the reason people are getting rashes. They're, why? It, it's all of that stuff. So that those are the things that people that are allergic to. I think. Uh, um, keeping it simple and it, it, that's the stuff that you're having reactions to so so let's we'll, we'll try and, and we'll try and give you relief but that, that's that's this is when well, yeah this is what's happening so it's certain if you've gone to a, a new store that you that you like that you could keep going back to it may be what they're using in their store to clean with or maybe something that you just knew that whatever. I, I mean, I can't pinpoint it. I know it's a chemical that you're having a reaction to that somebody's cleaning with. I'm trying to think of being anywhere. Yeah. It's hard for me to pinpoint because it's, it's, you, you put sorry, you're, you know what I mean, and you've spread it around your house, or maybe you bought the cleaner. Well, I was just thinking, I don't do a lot of cleaning, so that's not likely. Um, I wondered if I changed any um, soap, you know, clean um, washing powder, but I don't think I have. I haven't changed any washing. I've changed soft wings. You may actually have changed that. I think I did. I think I tried to think how long ago it was I would have changed it. It actually could be the soft wings. You say that. So that would be on my clothes, wouldn't it? Yes. I think I did. I'm trying. I have changed, but I can't think exactly when I did change, and it could have been Christmas, after Christmas. I'll go back to what I was using. Yes, because it could be that. It very well, could be that. Uh, another bit, some advice on the actual rush. If you've got it there now, if you have your hand yeah. out, have your hand out. Ask the universe for the ingredients to sort the rush out. Just mix it round as well. You mix it somewhere, yeah. Okay. Uh, and with intent, with your minds that mind. Even if you haven't got one, just by intent, uh, make the ingredients in there and then rub it on the area. So it's it's oh. got to be like a visualization. It's got to be so it's not been in your hand, but you've got to try and ask the universe to put the ingredients and then put it over your rash. Okay. okay thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, just one one thing with Joan. The, there was a baby and a teddy bear in the area. Can you try and save it? You know, send it to the light. It's attracted to your angelic side, and you can actually send it to the light. I got that when I was healing, and I forgot, and I picked it Me? up. Joan. 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 The last person. Yeah. I remembered while I was healing, and sometimes it. Because you're picking up channel and you, it goes out of the human side. It, it, I was told again. So. Right, next, next one is Danny. We're going to go for another 20 minutes and um, that'll end this for today. We're not going to do another four hour because <laughs> my body can't take it. I'm an old lady. <laughs> Every, every time I do one of these, Man United are playing on telly and I'm always missing it. <laughs> right, so, Danny? Say what? Yeah, it's me. This <laughs> is my friend. Right. Hello. Hello, Philip. First time with you. Thanks to Deb and Rick. So, Philip, can you help heal my seasonal winter asthma, please? I also, almost finished to remove this live contract. 
I've asked that with my higher self and angels, but sometimes I still read bad when I go outside. So, so it's, it's like a change of your brain patterns, I think. Make your brain work it work differently. Okay, do you want some healing? Do you want a scan? No? Yeah. Okay, just close your eyes. So, you yeah. said it's me. Uh -huh. Damn. Oh, Dan. <laughs> Father is also going in through your crown chakra and going through your whole system, through your bloodstream, through every organ in your body, and doing a complete healing. You may feel a rush of energy going through from top of your head down every arm and your both your legs to the bottom of your feet he's going through your heart muscle through every organ down your spine affecting every part of your body with this beautiful energy. Ooh. He's healing your circulatory system, your respiratory system, your heart, your lungs, your gallbladder, your pancreas, your liver, your spleen, your bladder, your oh, it's small and large intestine. He's giving me this information, honey. <laughs> your bowel, your colon. Your, your circulatory system and your nervous system. was warm and then uh, right away my hands uh, vibrates but yeah yeah I was going yes. to say, I was going to say did you feel the tingling that's the vibration yeah, yeah. Uh, I've, tried, yeah. To, I've yeah. tried to change your, your brain a little bit so it can handle the asthma so okay. I'm not 100% it'll work but sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't okay 
Did you feel any anything on going up in your head? Did you actually feel that? I do not today, but those last days, sometimes I have a like my crown chakra. It hurts a few seconds, and it's the first time in my life that I experienced that. Yes, when it's a once in a while, my crown chakra hurts. Yeah, a few seconds. If you ever, if you get asthma again, try try and tell your brain, can you sort of this out? Because you're you're the power machine of my body, and you're not okay. do, you're not doing your job. So, in, in meditation, okay. tell your brain, can you can you help with this asthma? Yeah, to do more. Okay, your, your brain your brain's a computer, and sometimes it doesn't quite do what it should be doing. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. K- Katie's got a question for some. She wants some advice. Katie, oh dear, is that right? Is she there? Katie. Yeah, I'm Katie here. I, I was just about to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> the timing. Um. I should be able to wait, though. No. Um, I don't really know where to begin. Um, I just, there's been a lot going on, like, emotionally. Um, I... I don't, I'm trying to think of how to even start to say this um can you put your image on or yeah yeah okay um yeah it just it kind of feels like i'm really bogged down with a lot of like heaviness um Like my, um, I mean, even just like being on this like call, I was crying like pretty much the whole time, and I, I, I just feel like there's this darkness around me and like heaviness, and I thought, oh, maybe it's like attachments. Um, but it's, I don't know. I just, I've noticed it since like 2019, but if I'm like being honest, I feel like it's been going on for longer than that. I just didn't really like notice it, so. What were you doing spiritually at the time? Um. Well, for me, like my spiritual kind of journey, like that kind of started and 2018 and I've really been honestly like more consistent about it since last year um I mean it it kind of varies it's just like what I'm experiencing makes it really hard for me to like be consistent about things like meditation I that's something that I do like daily but it's just um I feel like I'm like in fight or flight a lot and my mood just you know is up and down a lot um it just feels like everything's like really out of balance so it's it's probably uh what I think is it's actually going into spirituality you've got blockages I know that I've been told that but also you, you open down because you're going from one one way to another way and you're like translate you don't you're actually like transmuting yourself into the spiritual being so uh, do you want me to give you healing try and clear any blockages and just don't have doubt you have doubt about your spiritual uh, abilities 
Just let them down. Yeah. Anything negative, anything down, send them away. You don't need them. Yeah? Because it, 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 you can dwell on them then. You, you just dwell on them and then they get worse and worse and then you, you start to go back to what you were, but carry on going spiritually. So I'll, I'll send some healing. Uh, Deb, uh, do you want to do a scan if you're there? I, we already did. Oh, right. Just I'll, implants. Hmm? She's got implants. Is that the blockage? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get rid of both. Uh, if, oh, no, I'll get rid of the implants. You see them? Uh, they don't look metal. Mm -hmm. Partly metal. Yeah, the, the, the implants are, still, are trying to stop you becoming more spiritual. Mm. Where did they come from? <laughs> Sometimes you can have them from birth. Um, they're they're from gray aliens, but um, of many many people have had them. We've had them. I mean, they just observe. Most of them are, are neutral. They just observe. Mm. Uh, Some are controlling though. So if you're getting an eye vibration, going spiritual. They'll knock you down with the with, with the implants. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And taking them out is fine. It'll change you. So just hold steady. It's it's not a big deal. We remove many. Hmm. You feel anything? Um. Well, a lot of this time, it's my heart. Mm. There's tension in there. Um, I mean, I feel a little bit lighter, like more, a little more. Did I guess? Um, I just I have a lot of like symptoms going on with the, this is like my attention and um digestive stuff so right they're not there now what was your background growing up? Were you taken to church when you were a little girl? Um, no, I, um, yeah, no, no religious stuff. Um, are you talking just like about religious background or? Yes. Yes, I'm just asking you questions. I just oh. wanted to know. I'm at. Um, you're also an angel. That's what people have told me, but I, I just, um, I feel very. Uh, I don't feel like fully connected to. Like it, it yeah. comes and goes. You know. Um, you, you don't feel worthy. That's why I'm asking if you were given a. You were brought up in a religious background. I, I don't understand why you don't t feel worthy. Because of the implants. The implants are giving you info. I've, I've just visited the aliens, by the way. <laughs> That's quite fun. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, they, they're not going to do that again. Hmm? Sorry. It's okay, you don't have to, It's a release. There's a reason why you feel mm -hmm. you should feel uncomfortable crying. Yeah, I I don't I think it's also um just my childhood too. Just let it go. 
<laughs> you can forgive people for your childhood too. I'm you trying. can forgive them because it's time to love yourself. I, I wouldn't say about your childhood here, <laughs> but I'd try and find someone close to you. Not a relative, <laughs> someone close to you and tell them. Release it. Let it let yes. someone sharing it releases it. Yeah. 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 I, I or know. or if you want to tell somebody if you wanna if you wanna have us a, a free session with Rick and I, that's fine too. <laughs> Um, you chose you chose you chose your parents, believe it or not, because you wanted this experience. Yeah, for some it, reason, it's just been really painful. Sorry. It's okay. Let it go. Surrender. It, I think I think actually you had a blockage on the implant, and the blockage is from your childhood. And once you let it go then you know you can go anywhere on this spirituality and that's what you do now you're releasing it yes because very soon you're going to be you're going to be helping other people waking up very very soon because you are from the angelic realm and that's where you're going to go back to nice to know Guaranteed, you're going back to the angelic realm. You're going to be an angel again. It doesn't matter what happens here. That's where you're going back to. Yeah, it's just kind of felt like, yeah, I've had the thought I don't belong here a lot of times because I've, I've been a lone wolf for a long time. So you're never <laughs> alone. You're never alone. You've got twenty-two angels and guides around you at all times trust that they're there with you the more the more you tell say it was with Deb, the more you tell about all the little secrets when you were childhood or have all the pain the more you tell the light lighter you'll become the better you will become so then you're not keeping hold of it it, it becomes like a little demon inside and once it's released you can go so far yeah that that feels really true <clears throat> there's everybody in this room right now there's many angels in this room there's many um, aspects of jesus there's many aspects of I mean, rick and i are not we're just we're, we're just healers <laughs> but i mean all of us are one i mean there's many that are not angels in here, but we, we I wanted to bring healers and angelics together in this group because the energy is so strong when we're all together. Um, and, and for people that need this type of group to get to for this healing, this is why we do this every month, is for people that need help. It, the this other, is why we're all together. Yeah, the other thing is anyone watching this will have healing. Well, can receive healing off us. So we're not we're not just receiving and sending healing to the ones we want it. Everyone can have it. Yeah, yeah. I've I've I felt that like immediately getting on. <laughs> you know, we you don't have to bear your soul here, and, and or if you want Rick and I to help you later, or if you want to go to Phil later, we're available to you. If you don't have someone to talk to. That would be nice. Yeah. <clears throat> but think, don't, don't think that you're not worthy. You are worthy. One hundred percent, you are worthy, and you are loved. Thanks. You're very much loved. Okay. So get together with us. I'll tell you about your angels and your guides. I'll tell you their names. I'll tell you how to contact them. We'll be so happy to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would appreciate that. <sighs> We're not hard to reach. Our website is healed, teach, love, 
www.ghostsmedia.org. Our email's on there. Katie. your name. I'm on Facebook, Deb Purcell. AZ Cactus Flower. Maybe AZ Cactus Flower on Facebook. If you know somebody here, that most people here know how to reach me too. Okay. <clears throat> um, I just have, I don't know if there's time for one more question. It was just like, kind of alarming I saw um, something with like black eyes in my dream last night and it was like trying to push me down it was two of them and um, I don't know if that means anything but it's, it, I would say it's probably the implant trying to stop you being spiritual yeah Try, trying to get you fear, trying to give you a bit, bit of fear, then you, you go. If you're fearful, they're going to, they're, they're going to take advantage of that. Any negative energies and negative entities live off of. That's called loosh. Um, that's their food. Mm. They can't harm you. They can try and intimidate you, but mm. that, that's that's definitely their food. And as soon as you send them love, but on music that's uplifting and tell them to come and dance with you and, and, and send them love, they run. They don't like it. Yeah, in the dream, I uh, put my hand on their heart, which I thought was interesting. I hadn't like tried to fight it before. They always like pushed me down, so. <laughs> so you, 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 actually, you actually know inside, probably from the past level, you know how to, how to sort it out. You just let it go. You, you were giving them love to their heart. And they haven't really got an art, but you were giving them love from your art to them, and they, they would have gone straight away. Yeah, mm. It can burn them, burn them up. Yeah. So see, you did remember your, that you're an angel in your dream. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. You are, you are so powerful. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've heard people say that to me too. I, I just, I go up and down between the belief in myself a lot, so. <clears throat> I believe it. You're here for a purpose. It's time to stand up. You can do it. I believe in you. Thank you. Contact me with John. Mm -hmm. All right, one more, and then we're going to adjourn until the next month. We've got. Uh... Sorry. Yeah, we, we've got 70 odd questions. We could last till midnight if you want. <laughs> uh, we've got a question from Maria. Uh, I, have a, I have a question regarding my daughter. She's 15, struggling with cervical nasal blockage for a few years now, unable to breathe correctly. Is she in, by the way? I didn't think of that, did I? Is Maria there? I'll get the next one. Yeah. I'll find one. Are we strong, uh, strong there? Is Ollie there? No.
Hello. Hello. Hi, Phil. Hi. Uh, Javier? Yes, um, I'm Javier from Baja, California. Yeah. How you doing? Good. I just cast the last part of the conversation. Do I eat it? Pardon me? Did you need a healer? Yeah. Hmm? yeah, I'm a shaman. Oh, you're a shaman. Yeah. Okay. So you don't need a healing because you're a shaman, or did you need a healing? We all need healing, but um, I was just like I say, I was catching the last part of uh, this conversation. This I just got late. Okay. It's good to meet you, Javier. Nice to meet you too. Mm -hmm. uh, Sally Lopez, I'm requesting an earring. I've been earring. I have a blood condition in my channeling. My blood work came back fine in September, requesting a third eye check. That's Sally Lowe. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> yep. No, I'll give you some email. Sally, Father is showing your third eye wide open. That's so weird. Like a spotlight coming through it. Well, I mean, I, I, I have to uh, really focus. It is almost like every time that I go into meditation, I have to remove something, it feels like. So that's why I'm asking about that. He's showing me. He's asking why you feel that way. Why Why you feel like there's something that you're removing. He's saying that he, it's you telling yourself that you're removing something. It's you. Okay. Okay. Why, why are you removing things that he's not seeing? Well, that's funny. <laughs> saying you're, 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 you're feeling like there's something there, but there's nothing there. It's wide open. It's pure white. I mean, through there, pure white. Absolutely nothing there. Okay. You're, you're placing a block. Mm -hmm. We all, you know, I used to, I used to think because I, I it wasn't open all the time. I, I used to say, I think my third eye closed. So, I keep panicking. My third eye is not open anymore. Why is it not open? I'm not seeing anything. It's only open when they need, when there's something that they're going to be doing. You know what I mean? Right. And there's a reason for it to be open. It's not open all the time. It's open when they need to do downloads, when there needs to be information. So there's, we, we all imagine there's a block for some reason. There's no block. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> That's good news. <laughs> yes. Yes. The only block that was there was your block that you oh, put there. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's the... <laughs> yeah, what I'm picking up, I'm picking you a bit lazy on grounding. <laughs> mm? Yeah. You need to ground or you'll just pick things up. <laughs> yeah. See, now Father won't say that. He won't say that. That's not him. He won't say that. 
Now you I will. Uh. Now, the, now the, the angels will tell you that. <laughs> but the father won't say that. <laughs> now your angel will tell you. You people want to start grounding more? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I do ground a lot, but I run a lot of energy through me. So I know that I need to even ground more than I already do. Well, there you go. Do you yeah. pick anything with my blood, Phil? Uh, I, cleared it. I, I did pick up some sort of... You pick something up from, uh, from your work. You What's pick- endo endoplasmic reticulum was mm. what kept was what kept coming into me like mm. about two weeks ago. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I think some has got got through a little bit, but uh, it's not that bad. It's just I think you could ground it. I, I, I've, I've done a bit of work, yeah. but it's your job to get through it. <laughs> Do the ground. <laughs> Yeah. All right. I think the warning was to say you, you, you're channeling and you're picking these things up, but watch what you pick up. Yeah. Watch who you channel. Watch what you you know what what's coming out there. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you both. <laughs> Do you want to do um, a closing grounding or? Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll do that. Uh, I want to thank everybody. Thank you all for joining us today. Yeah, a bit Mrs. Pasali. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but what you do is you visualize, a, you close your eyes, visualize or intent. Make, try and, I like bare feet, it's better. I try to visualize a portal or halo around your head. It's glowing white light. I used to think this was like a future machine when I used to do this 20 years ago. So it's glowing angelic white light and it's going down, uh, four inches down, two inches up, and it keeps on going down. And what it's doing is it's, it's scanning you and it's clearing any negativity and it's pushing it to the ground. If it changes color, especially red it means you've got attachments or entities and it just keeps on going four in two down four in so it's now at your throat chakra going down all the way down four inches down two inches down we'll do it a five minute one so it keeps on going down it changes to any color they're normally the colors of the angelic flame and it can be yellow red purple yellow's emotions so it goes down to your root chakra, keeps on going down, keeps on going down. So you can see it, you can see it bright, it's all the way around the halo. And it goes all the way down, nice and slowly, four inches down, two inches up, four inches down, two inches up, right down, and then it goes to your feet. Leave it to your feet for a while, then channel moon energy into your crown chakra right down to all your chakras and go right down to the halo and then release any negativity into the ground yeah and then release the halo back to your crown okay just give it a few minutes remember to drink water after and this system normally takes 10 minutes so if you want to have a try it grounding uh, use that, try and use that system. I know loads of people use it now. And just relax. I love that one. Hmm? And that's it. Thank you, everyone. Apologies to any of you that didn't have the healing, but you, you'll still get healing on the YouTube when this comes out. Uh, 
when I'm doing when I'm doing that when I'm doing that I'm sending healing to everyone thank you let's go to everybody we'll see you next month a couple weeks on the 20th we'll we'll be um, here with uh, Metatron Milash Mystery same Saturday same time hope to see you there yeah thanks Bill thanks David for all your help he's he's got his phone went about an hour ago (laughs) (laughs) well he'll see the recording too yeah what's love Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.